Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing very well. Today we're looking at Warbirds and comparing their sustained roll rate and snap roll rate. So, so we're classifying sustained roll as aileron only, so we can do several rolls in a row tactically, and a snap roll as aileron and rudder, which usually we wouldn't sustain, we would just use once. The way we're going to measure it is we're going to do two or three consecutive rolls with aileron only, measure that in terms of roll degrees per second. Then we're going to do a single snap roll and measure the degrees per second that we've covered in that snap roll. And we'll do that for each aircraft and compare them against each other. The roll rates of these aircraft will differ depending on the speed that we're going and the altitude that we're traveling at. So the main thing is to keep them all the same. So we'll do all of these at about 2,000 feet ASL and about 220 knots TAS. And the reason for picking that speed and altitude is just all of the aircraft can attain that so we can uh, make it comparable. In terms of our usual parameters, we've got 20 degrees Celsius at sea level, 29.92 inches mercury Q&H. We've got 10% fuel in all aircraft and gas burn is turned off and no external stores. So let's get started with the curve first. Okay, we don't have to be perfectly accurate. About 220 knots there, about 2,000 feet. Three, two, one, go. Sustained roll rate, which is pretty terrible in this by the looks of it. I really didn't think it would be this bad. We might not even get two, which is scary. Just got two. Okay, we're going to head back up now for the snap roll. Okay, three, two, one, go. Uh, pretty shitty, to be honest. So I wasn't expecting that. Okay, fair enough. Let's move on to the next bird. Okay, I think that's near enough. Sustained, three, two, one, go. Oh, that's much better. We might even get three rolls. Much better. Very good. Head back up. In terms of predictions, uh, I mean, I'm guessing the aircraft with the lowest wingspan and the largest ailerons is going to be the winner. Um, there's not much else I can think of that would be a bit of benefit. Okay, snap roll. Three, two, one, go. Oh, that's more like it. Look at that. <laughs> Woohoo! Very good. Uh, next plane. Dora, three, two, one, go. Pretty good. That's a three roll plane again. Okay, snap roll, three, two, one, go. Pretty good. I wonder why the curve first was so crap in terms of that, that rudder roll ability. Don't know. Next plane. I-16, that's close enough. Three, two, one, go. Oh dear. <laughs> that's not very good at all. I don't know why. It's only got stubby little wings. Oh, I'm not sure what that was all about. Let's try the snap roll. Three, two, one, go. Oh Jesus Christ. I'm going to have fun analyzing that, aren't I? What a cool defensive move. Okay. Spitfire clip wing. I'm expecting this to be pretty crap. Well, I don't know. Maybe? I'm not sure. Reserve judgment. Three, two, one, go. Not too bad. Not great, but I've seen worse. Snap roll. Three, Two, one, go. Not too bad for a big old wing biatch. Okay, next plane. Okay, we've got a full wing spit. Three, two, one, go. It's going to be terrible because it's got massive wingspan. Big wings. Pretty crap. Let's try the snap roll. Three, two, one, go. Surprisingly good. Next plane. Okay, last of all, this has got the longest wingspan and what looked like the smallest aileron, so this is probably going to be absolutely terrible, but we'll give it a go, you never know. Three, two, one, go. Yes, yes, it is terrible. Okay, let's see if it can snap. Three, two, one, go. Hey! 
It's not too bad. So I wonder why the curve hurts was so bad. Right, good fun had by everyone. Let's go and analyse that data, shall we? Okay, to the data. So these are the jets. I'm not really interested in them. Here are the sustained aileron rolls for our warbirds. Here are the snap rolls for our warbirds. Here's uh, just hard data. Whoops, hard data on the warbirds. K okay, for the curveverse is the worst. Finally, finally, we found something that the curveverse can't do. It's better on everything. It's best on speed. It's best on dive. It's best on climb. It's best on everything we've tried. Acceleration. But finally, it can't do something. It can't roll. It uh, can't roll. Why? Um, let's have a look. Curveverse wingspan. It's got the smallest wingspan here. It should be the fastest rolling. Why can't it roll? And this is aileron only. In fact, no, even on aileron and rudder, it's just as slow. That can't be right. It takes the same amount of degrees per second to roll with rudder than without rudder. Something doesn't sound right about that. Um, why is it so terrible at rolling? It can't be right. It's worse than a spit, worse than a full wing spit look. How interesting. Something to do with ugh, the weight of the controls to to power, uh, you know, it's not powerful enough to, to move them. That's all I can think of. And none of these are servo, servo assisted, I don't think. So, you know what, That's, you guys are going to have to tell me that. I don't know what the answer is to that. Um, I'll leave that to you. The two 190s, almost equal and the best. Really surprised about that. Their wingspan is average, 34 and a half feet, each of them. So I wouldn't have expected them to be amazing, and they're pretty heavy. Uh, so again, you like you got a lot of you know uh, rotational inertia there, rotational momentum. So I don't know why. Why is it so good? No idea. Need you guys to help out with that. And they are not the best snap roll. They are uh, fairly poor in the in the lower end of the snap roll for whatever reason. For I have no idea why. So look look at the pictures. Hmm. I think obvious I can see there that would uh, be any reason for that but okay i16 roll is ter oh sorry no the i16 was worse than the bf109 right there is something worse for some reason the ailerons just don't work in the i16 60 degrees per second that's so poor uh, and it, it mm, the only method of survival you have in an i16 is just chucking it about like a christian eagle so you need roll rate which you just don't have reasons <sighs> I don't know, uh, its wingspan is 20 feet. It's ridiculously tiny. Have I got that the wrong way around? I've got the feeling I've got the length of the wingspan the wrong way around. Can someone confirm that? I think it's actually wider than it is longer. I think it's actually 29 feet wingspan. Uh, typical of me to put it the wrong way around. Uh, if I am right, then uh, 29. It should really be the best along with the Messerschmitt, but it's not, so I don't know. Snap roll, it's ridiculous. 375 degrees per second. So why does it suddenly get so good when you use the rudder? I don't know. There's nothing obvious that tells me why. It's something to do with its length, because the snap roll is a lot to do with the length, I think, as well as the uh, as that, but as the width. But I don't really know. Okay, so that's that. Next is the spit. Uh, the clip wing is actually not too bad. At 100 degrees per second. The full wing is pretty bad at 75 degrees per second. So. Clip wing is a major improvement, and they're both about 180, 190 degrees per second with a snap roll. So they're both actually they're better than the Doras. They're better than the 190s uh, snap roll. No obvious reason why it's not particularly anything really. It's a very long wingspan, but okay. So the length of it is Shh. no, it's nothing in the length that really gives us a clue either. So I don't know. Don't know. It's all a bit beyond me. These just seem all like randomly chosen numbers, to be honest. But that is that. Then we got to the uh, the P fifty one. Pretty terrible roll rate. It does have the biggest wingspan here at thirty seven feet, I believe. So that just kind of makes sense uh, that it has a crap a roll weight ailerons, and it's not too bad. It's relatively decent snap at two hundred eight degrees per second. So the second best in snap roll. So, again, is it quite short? Mm, not really. So, I don't know. It's all a bit beyond me. So, anyway, those are the results. I'm obviously going to need some help explaining why they are like that. But I think it's all very interesting. Next, we're going to do sustained turn rate. I hope you enjoyed that. See you later.